Well, three new pickleball courts are expected to come to North Park in Kirksville in 2025. The City Council approved the grant application that seeks nearly $150,000 of funding to help them complete the project. KTVO's Nick Todorovic was at last night's Kirksville City Council meeting, and he has more. Community members have been asking for pickleball to be more accessible in Kirksville for years. A $299,000 grant from the Land and Water Conservation Fund program may help their wishes come true. The Kirksville City Council approved the request to file a grant application. If the state of Missouri approves the application, the city will receive $145,500 in grants. The city will match that money to fulfill the estimated cost of $299,000. Mayor Burden encourages all city departments to apply for any grants that are available so the city can continue to grow. You know, the big thing behind a grant is, again, stretching tax dollars as further as we can. So it's about taking you know, a little bit from what Kirksville can offer, partnering that with state and federal monies, and being able to turn that into something larger. Um, so it's really exciting to be able to step up with some local match money that can make something even bigger happen. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the country. It's a sport that connects the whole community. Pickleball is really one of those sports or activities and recreation that can touch anyone of, of any age. So um, you know, younger kids are now learning it in their physical education classes in school. And uh, you know, the retiring uh, number of baby boomers are now really taking the sport up. And so we're seeing an older population of individuals out in our parks playing pickleball across the country. Mayor Burden and Kirksville Parks and Recreation Director Rodney Sadler have been working on this project for over a year. The two men already have plans for when the project is completed. I'm probably going to have to go up against Rodney Sadler and try that out there. I think it'd be great to, uh, to see a one-on-one -on -one pickleball match between uh, myself and the mayor just as soon as we get it open. The city will learn if the grant is accepted by the middle of next year. If approved, the city will submit bid documents at the end of next year. They hope to have construction started at the beginning of 2025, and they hope to have the courts up and running by late spring of 2025. Nick Todorovic, KTVO News. Well, I personally would love to watch a one-on-one -on -one between Rodney Sadler and Mayor Burden. Well, the grant also will cover sidewalk connections, lighting, fencing, and nets. We will continue, of course, to follow the project.